I don't know what's wrong I already uploaded a complete video 45 minutes long beautiful with all the in and outs of how to install Windows 11 that was leaked last night or yesterday and you know I as well got it so I you know I installed it and I run into certain problems uh, for instance um, as you know um, I'm creating whole lots of uh, yeah legacy uh, operating systems uh, that in fact are not using a UEFI BIOS. So I created a bootable USB stick uh, today from the Windows 11 and when I booted up it said to me that uh, my computer was not suitable and was not good enough to run this version of Windows. So then I went back into Windows, created uh, uh, another bootable stick but now uh, with uh, a GPT partition seam and um, for UEFI devices and I went into the bias and as well changed the bias uh, from legacy to UEFI okay with uh, no C, uh, CSM or so that's what I did booted up straight from the bootable USB stick the installer went fine uh, the installer goes kind of straight up um, it's a very nice installer to say this way i have some shots for you that i'm gonna show to you um we're gonna start with the bootable usb stick so you can see how that must be created because that is i think the most important thing because uh, if you create one for uh for bias then it will boot but it will not install so yeah you need a gpt partition and that you can only get i think with a uefi bias uh, enabled so <laughs> welcome again to channel 48 by the way as i already said this video was already created and <laughs> it takes a whole lot of motivation to recreate it because yeah the previous one was just an, a good and nice video talking about you know the installation but it got flagged as if you know it's for 18 and up so i don't know maybe it's my face maybe my face is for 18 and up so it's all good there youtube we're trying it again and if this one gets flagged again then i'm done then I, i'm taking a holiday from youtube for at least three months okay what you're looking at is rufus and rufus is creating a bootable usb stick um and it selected the GPT partition seam and the target is UEFI non CSM. Now my laptop is set to uh, to legacy. I have a legacy mode, but I can as well set it to UEFI non CSM. All right. So um, when this is done, we're gonna go into the BIOS and and change that. Um, I could as well create an MBR uh, partition seam, uh, but the problem was that uh, when I booted the, the USB stick, um, it said to me that, uh, that the computer was not, uh, the specifications did not meet the requirements uh, to install this, this, this build. Uh, but that is kind of impossible. You know, I installed Windows 10 on here before. This is an i5 with 10 gigabytes of RAM, so it would be crazy. Um, so I sus suspect that it has something to do with uh, the GPT uh, and, and the UEFI. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I just created a new bootable USB stick, but now with uh, the partition seam that uh, Rufus uh, chose the first time. Okay, and that is this. So I'm just gonna let this go. And when this is done, we're gonna swap hard drives. That, that hard drive that you see uh, will be removed. And that will go into a portable uh, portable case 
I have the drive already set. So in fact, the other one is just hanging in the in the SATA ports, but the bottom is holding it, so it can't go anywhere. So I just want to see if now we will be able to boot the machine and install, because yeah. I'm gonna swap the drives now and uh, I'm gonna start the installer and I'll see you uh, after the first reboot. Now the files are copied, the machine will reboot and as you can see the Windows logo make place for the HP logo and it will reboot uh, one more time and then we're gonna come into this screen. And there we are, and look at that beautiful, beautiful flat uh, logo styled animation that is popping up. Look at these beautiful, uh, yeah, beautiful animations during the setup screen. So now we're just gonna go through a little menu. Now I'm not connected to the internet yet. Um, I'm using my LAN cable and it was not connected. And so I could create a local account. Um, you will as well uh, get through the privacy settings and um, with your local account of course goes your password and you will have to answer three questions um, so I'm gonna do that really fast and I'm gonna skip this part I'm gonna leave that uh, for you okay it's uh, all looking very very nice it's uh, yeah, kind of different than, than Windows 10. I never saw this ever before in my life uh, since today. So I mean like, yeah, this is new to me and it looks very, very good. So I'm just gonna set up the system, okay? And get back to you uh, in the desktop. Boom, and there we go. And you will be greeted. Hello, Microsoft, how are you doing? So it's going to set up the system and soon we will reach the desktop. And there we go. We're in the desktop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, install some screen capture program and get back to you. So I can show you the system from the inside. Look at that. We installed it, peeps. Windows 11. And I set it up a bit. Um, I think... Uh, the system looks really good, um, it's an amazing improvement. Uh, this is as if I'm yeah, using something totally new. Um, everything works, this is the network, I must still enable network discovery or PC. This is the advanced uh, mode and this is the normal mode, you see that? very lovely icons this all looks really really good especially for a laptop or a pc this is really nice if you have a 15 inch screen or 17 inch screen in front of you this will all look great well etc 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 it's a nice system great icons uh, nothing really annoyed me yet uh, until now um, yeah i must say great work microsoft keep it up i see that you are really yeah thinking different now and that's a good thing uh, i like the look and feels uh, looks really nice reminds me of uh, a build that i as well made uh, when i saw the first 10x or the windows 10x uh, built in the news and now it's in front of me running on my laptop and i'm very happy to see that my older applications as well work such as camtasia 4 from a long time ago and vlc is working good uh, already converted a nice little video video that you're looking at so yeah I, in fact, don't want to make this video any longer, peeps. Uh, I showed you how to install it. Now I'm going to tell you how to get it. It's very easy. Um, just type uh, Windows 11 download ISO in YouTube. And then some videos will pop up. And these guys have all these links. 
uh, shared for you out there so just go there and uh, yeah download your build that's how i found my build as well i found it here right here on youtube you know so uh, big up to all the youtubers that uh, are sharing this um, so i don't have to share it and uh, i wish you all uh, lots of fun with your new windows 11 build i say back to the studio well i as well need a new uh, a new shirt now i need to call my uh, my t-shirt creator to make me a new windows 11 shirt because this thing was created at a time when windows kind of released windows 10 was it not this the shirt is old you see the black is coming through the yellow there so it was time for a new windows and yeah we got it it's right here in front of me showed you how you can get it as well so um yeah take advantage out of that and uh go go install it and see how beautiful it is remember that uh yeah if you have no uefi bias and you're gonna create a, a bootable usb stick for bias it's gonna boot up but uh after the selection of the windows that you want to install it's gonna say um your your pc is not supported so only uefi devices i found out can install this so yeah i'm terribly sorry for the not uefi uh uh users out there and in fact this is the first time that i'm gonna use my device with uefi because i always had it on uh legacy mode because of the distributions that i created for 32 bit etc and those yeah they they they, they never heard of uefi so yeah these are builds that in fact only the 64 bit builds you know have bootia and you know that if i will understand how to boot these systems but anyway peeps i'm kind of tired now i'm gonna sit in the sun eat a nice little breakfast so i want to thank you for watching um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and enjoy windows 11 and i was very 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 honored today to bring it to you